Okay, riddle again. This is going to be a difficult one because this vase is so tall and oblong. It's actually a, a, a wine craft. And instead of just using it to pour wine, I did another one of my um, modern Native American iconic storyboards on it. I also did a little bit of English writing along the top of the vessel. On the lid of the vessel, it reads, People are scared, but they're still watching television. <laughs> what I mean by that is, there are so many things that need to be done right now that we really don't have the luxury to sit around on our asses and be over-entertained. I know people work very hard, and we're all working towards some dream or goal that seems obtainable and important, but the fact is, we have a lot to do, and only through sacrifice are we going to um, rescue this earth and rescue our culture for our children and their children's children. The phoenix or the firebird here actually represents uh, a powerful force of the sun getting warmer. The eye for me often symbolizes humans or consciousness. So here I have an explosion of mass consciousness and people being aware and becoming aware of consciousness are crying because the reality is so painful. It's a classic pileup of cell phones and human debris. You can see the um, electrical lines, overpopulation, everyone keeping numb with being over entertained and watching television, thousands of people, overpopulation, more telephone lines, more homes, more people, more mass consciousness not taking action, more televisions, more debris, calamity, calamity, cell phones, overpopulation, reception, radio waves, radio waves. This is nature finally getting sick of humanity. Nature taking, re, reclaiming the earth. That's why I have the skull splitting and this seed pod sprouting out from her. There you go, folks. It would look beautiful on your coffee table. <laughs> so that's what art does. Art often tells a story. If you're interested in purchasing this piece, though it's probably more of a museum piece than something that you'd want to decorate your house with, you can contact me at windriddle, wind, W-Y-N-D-R-I-D-D-L-E, at AOL.com. Thank you.